Cyclists are coming off worst in the war on our roads with an alarming increase in the number of serious injuries. Riders say drivers need to understand that they don't own the road. A moment of inattention from a driver on Burns Beach Road. This 40-year-old cyclist suffered a broken wrist. Last year, 120 WA cyclists were seriously injured and admitted to Royal Perth Hospital's major trauma unit. That's up 45% on the previous year. It really is a very shocking and sobering statistics that have come out today. For Ian Anderson, the statistics hit home. It's very upsetting but not surprising. It takes you back all the time. You, well, you relive that every day. Ian's son Tim was killed by a drunk driver while cycling two years ago. The 26-year-old was training for a charity bike ride. He was um, riding in high vis, he was wearing a helmet, he had lights on his bike, he was riding in the bike lane. There was nothing more he could do. Cyclists are completely exposed, they're not even protected by the shell of a, of a car. So when cyclists are struck by a, by a motor vehicle, there is a risk that they actually get dragged under the vehicle. And doctors say one in five of those seriously injured cyclists weren't wearing helmets. This stretch here on Curtin Avenue and Port Beach Road in Fremantle is Perth's most dangerous spot for cyclists. With trucks and cars constantly passing and a curve in the road, it makes it hard for cyclists to be seen. Bicycling WA says Stirling Highway is a close second because the road is so narrow. Bike riders have exactly the same rights and responsibilities as, as a car driver, so they're legally allowed on the road, they are legally allowed to ride two abreast. Bicycling WA says more bike paths are needed and want speed limits reduced. I think the, the message is we've got to share the road. Emma Sheridan, Nine News.